Back. I'm back. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh jump back into what we we're about to talk to Sarah, but let's actually I talk to our parents. I'm planning a grocery run. I missed you, you so much, Doc. I hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a nat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? You have hidden depths, Mom. I don't know if I go that far. But I'll let your father talk before he bursts. I was playing poker with the Dean of Engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation, well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. She fires beautifully now. We, uh, uh, took turns sighting it at the range. I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying, may I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. What? All the special modifications just as he left him. He was chair of Consolation about uh, 50 years ago. Anyway. No way. Oh, Dad. Thanks. I hope it keeps you safe. If not, maybe get a good place for it on a mantle. Well, we'll let you get back to it, but uh, Miss Noel said we could look around a little first. Sure. All right. Miss Noel, would it be all right if I brought cookies next time? Cookies. Actually, Mr. Feel cookies. free to help yourself with the bar. I don't drink, I but make a mean I feel like if I little. did, now would be yes, a good time I, for one. Um... Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Huh. I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. Hmm. It has to be, right? All of this is connected. We just need to figure out how and why. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. All right. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. Good for you. Take care of yourself. Sure. All right, Walter. Sarah is the best possible person to be running Constellation at a time like this. Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Uh, I'd call worse. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. 
I had you pegged wrong. Now, now, I've apologized. It's on you to accept and forgive. I'm sure we'll argue again. That's what relationships are. Breakage and repair. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects. If you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. <laughs> sure thing. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, Leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Do I have five million credits? <laughs> Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Oh, yeah. I see it all the time. Well, 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 fitness option. Hmm. I'll take your word on that. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. We're most well known for ship manufacturing. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Until know. next time. I hope Barrett makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time, and everyone just... Real quick, where's this, uh... Still. I am at your service, Captain. It's research base. Oh. Not what I wanted. I instinctively opened a door. Nice little rooftop pla uh, terrace, though. It's cute. It's quaint. It's peaceful at night with the chirping and... The crickets and I have Jazzaroo. Oh, you're so special. You get two doors. Lame. Okay, so my room is not there, but it's the next one over. me from things get it through my allies and all that jazz but hmm. oh hmm. 
Hold on. Bingo. Everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible to be aware of possible negative effects. Yes, 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 yes. At this point, it just about opened almost every fucking door. Where's the fucking research thing? That's the cook station. I know there's one on my ship. It was cool. It's a chest I can't unlock. You've got the home gym. I've just got my pharmaceutical station. Exotic wood decoration. What the fuck? And people of the future are weird. This bathroom. Alright. Since I can't tell where it is. Bingo. Found it. Pharmaceutical lab, cook station. This is everything. Isolation mission board. Oh, it's so bright. No time limits, right? Okay, the planet trade is the most challenging survey mission. You'll need to search an entire solar system for a planet that has a that has the target trait. Locate planets in the target system uh, that have traits. This is indicative. Yeah, sorry, indicated at the bottom of the planet's info card. Uh, unknown trace, got it. And of course. Suit station. Bench. Where's the uh Ooh. So some funky looking speakers. Really? It's a research station. Down here. What is this stuff down here? So, they were saying something about there being tons of uh, little Starfield posters all over the all over the game, and I think this might be one of them. Two dates for Darla. Oh, jeez. Damn, Darla. That's slow me. I don't like that creaking. The toilet paper must have stocked up before the pandemic. Good for them. Research station. Blur. Your storage. Oh no! 
want to get in there. Please don't lock me out. Oh. Oh, okay. Odd. Let me back in. <laughs> Let me in. Please. Please, please, please. Alright, I didn't see a research station. Disappointed about that, actually. Shielding. So laser sight. There, I'm gonna do it. Play a research project. Uh oh, I, yeah, I completed the one thing I needed. service no additional protocols necessary also fusion. given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research uh what do you mean the exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking by building an outpost you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. Hmm. The scan booster is the most obvious, as it will enable you to detect landmarks and other points of interest. From further away, beyond that, extractors will allow you to collect raw materials of various types, while fabricators enable the manufacturing. A particularly prosperous outpost may even warrant the construction of cargo links, allowing you to share resources between other outposts you have built. A planetary scan will reveal the presence of key inorganic resources, 
although rarer elements will be harder to find without training and while a scan may detect the presence of life on a planet you will have to analyze the native plants and animals yourself to know what compounds they produce <laughs> the blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch it will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. My primary function has been to support and protect Barrett during his travels. I am currently unable to do so. That is as capable as I can be of missing anyone. I believe Barrett would find your question amusing. My methods of achieving my primary goals are dictated solely by my programming and are not subject to the same whims as humans. Even if I wished it, I could not approach it any other way. Also, I am incapable of wishing. I arrived along with many material goods purchased by the group's previous chair, Malcolm Livingstone. Despite several significant system replacements and upgrades, I have been online for 43 years. Hmm. Captain Buzz, I will proceed to my assigned post. Oh, there he is. Field systems, the weapon systems, the electronic fusion. Perfect. Okay, bye Vasco. Zero. Something you need? So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Mm. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. Yes, it is, isn't it? I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. I got a point there. We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Hmm. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle. Resource to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why the constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies' space. They're always looking for recruits, 
Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. <laughs> You mean, besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? Yes. We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. All right. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? I mean, you don't care if I steal as long as I don't get caught? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Hmm. Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Sure. Why not? Oh, we're ready to move then. All right. Come on, Sarah. You and me. Space Explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Hmm. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Oh? Matches that description Sarah gave me. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Our spaceport sounds like home. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. 
You see is a good friend to have. Hmm. Head there at least. Next Ow. time, use your jetpack. Oh, I have one. I kind of got rid of it. <laughs> got rid of it. All right. There's uh, Sir Livington's pistol. Oh. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh. We didn't get any ammo for this. All right. Good shit. trying to represent. Private sector. Security scanners, chemical snows. The United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Hello, Vasco. Excuse me, buddy. Hi. Hello. Please disregard. a good day when we get to chat you know me i'm an open book where are you from i was raised in hope town on polvo it's a corporate town run by ron hope the ceo of hope tech manufacturing he likes to sell it as a utopia a place where workers are provided everything they need for a happy life but that's a lie Conditions are awful for the average person in Hope Town. Almost everyone there lives hand to mouth. It's Ron Hope's fault. He controls everything that happens in Hope Town. Our entire economy is dependent on him. There's nothing stopping him from increasing wages and improving safety in his factories, but he won't do it. Keeping your workforce poor and plying them with cheap liquor at company stores is a good way to keep them around. Yeah, that's about right. I grew up on the edge of poverty, like most working class people in Hopetown. My parents' wages from Hope Tech barely kept food on the table. For a long time, I couldn't imagine my life any other way. Ron Hope does a good job making sure his workers feel like they're being cared for. It wasn't until I got old enough to start working in the factories myself that I started to understand how bad things really were. Hmm. Hope Tech is a starship manufacturer. They make 
Cargo freighters and other industrial vehicles. Most of them are clunky eyesores, barely suited for grav jumping. But people keep buying them, so Hope Tech keeps making them. I think more people would if they had the chance. But Hope Tech makes it almost impossible. They barely make enough to keep the lights on, let alone start a new life outside of Hope Town. That's why I joined the Freestar Rangers. I knew they'd fly me to Aquila for training, and I wanted to do something more meaningful with my life than building starships. I thought being a ranger would be a perfect fit, but it didn't turn out like I was expecting. Boarding the ship to leave Hope Town might be the best thing that happened to me while I was a deputy. No apology needed, huh? It's not your fault. For all that working with the Rangers wasn't for me, I still learned a lot. It was eye-opening to see how people live all over the Freestar Collective. I thought the conditions in Hope Town were unique, but leaving Povo showed me I was wrong about that. Yeah, she has a whole bunch of shit. The longer I spent with the Rangers, the more I started to feel like they serve the Free Star Collective's government more than its citizens. I couldn't make peace with the fact that an organization that claimed to stand for freedom and individuality let places like Hope Town exist. Eventually, the hypocrisy was too much. I made the decision to resign and move to the UC. Seemed like people there might share more of my views. It was the right decision, but it was wasn't it? an easy one. Was it the right one? My family is still in Hope Town. That was almost enough to keep me from leaving the Freestar Collective. But I had my mind set on finding a better place for all of us. I've been trying to find my parents a way out of Hope Town for years. I thought if I moved to the UC and found out things were better there, they might finally be willing to consider it. It showed me that Ron Hope's attitude isn't unique. The Freestar Collective is full of people willing to take advantage of others to get what they want. And there are barely any systems in place to stop them. No one to tell them no or punish them for it. That's the downside of the Freestar way of doing things, huh? No social safety nets. It's hard for anyone born into poverty to improve their situation, especially with people like Ron Hope and Benjamin Bayou in power. Hmm. He's the administrator of Nia, who basically owns the city. I like to say that not a credit gets spent on Voli Alpha that doesn't end up in Bayou's pocket. I feel sorry for anyone who has to grow up there. Povo was bad, but at least we didn't have violent gangs. You're not alone. Most free stars aren't very good at introspection. I took plenty of flack for criticizing the Rangers before I left the Freestar Collective behind. I thought I did at first. New Atlantis is clean and safe, and most of the people there are happy. And it seemed like the government was doing a lot to keep it that way. But my perspective changed after I took an entry-level job with UC Security. 
They stationed me in the well. I couldn't believe the conditions down there. It made all the UC talk of a perfect society seem like propaganda. The more I started looking around, the more cracks I saw in the whole thing. Yeah, that's about right. Do you see makes a show of promising job placement and housing options to all its citizens. But if those programs exist in the well, there's no sign of them. Most people down there live in the same conditions I saw in Hopetown. There's crime and unemployment, and a lack of good medical care. It's nothing like the rest of New Atlantis. You'd never know that from the outside, of course. Bet you they got Digipix, though. Because I don't. Their treatment of the soul system to begin with. It's one of humanity's greatest treasures. And they've let it fall into total disarray. The UC's insistence on maintaining a large and well-equipped military is also a bit off-putting. If they're committed to intergalactic peace, why do they need it? Those are the kinds of questions you almost never hear UC citizens ask. I think that comes down to good marketing on Nast's part. I don't think you'd be wrong about that, actually. It all seems just a little bit too shiny when you really start to look closely, huh? Too good to be true. I'm yeah. glad I'm not the only one who thinks so. Once the wool fell from my eyes, living in New Atlantis lost its luster. That's when I decided life in the major factions wasn't for me. The problems run too deep. There's corruption and division everywhere. And not enough people are willing to see it. I don't think that will change anytime soon. It seems to me like the only option is starting over, huh? Founding a colony without the influence of massive governments, corporations. Maybe, maybe people would be kinder to each other in a place like that. No. You read my mind, Captain. You're really getting to know me, huh? I've been thinking about the idea of founding my own settlement for a while. It isn't in my nature to sit around while the problems in the settled systems get worse. But... I'm not rushing into anything. If I'm really going to do this, I need to get a better sense of how people live all over the settled systems. That means visiting the major cities and looking at both the good things and the bad. That way, I can decide what things I want to keep and what I am going to leave behind. Good thing I'm working for a captain that likes to travel, huh? We'll hit all the major cities in no time. That's fine by me, Captain. I get wanting to avoid the major factions. I'll settle for looking around the cities during supply runs between our trips. Oh. All right, learned a great deal about her. I always enjoy our chats. We've chatted like twice, but all right. Hey, Sarah. Is this what you're up to, huh? Navigation console. 
Oh shit, I can just go here and plot a course. Looks like we're headed to Mars. sometimes. Good, like that. We've done almost everything. Helium 3 is used exclusively for draft jumping. Sent here, consider this posting a punishment. Yeah, this place sucks. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Heat leeches in the engine, leeches on the hull, multiple leeches in the grab drive. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. So, what's this going to run? If there are no other surprises, mid five figures. Five figures? Five? Yikes. Delivering Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. If you're going to use the elevators or stairs to reach the other levels, try to keep them clean. Oh. If you see any trouble, you let us know. Careful near the railings on the upper levels. It's a long way down. Oh, hey, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How much money we spent to hitch a ride to this dusty red rock? We were told there were jobs. Look, 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 I get it. But we just built the last I think we have a couple contracts. Check the mission board. No pirate ship has been reported in the Olympus system located. Crimson Fleet haunt and destroy it. Okay. We can make a real good living work in the mines here on Mars. <clears throat> keep it simple or keep to yourself. I never will be. You ain't been around. One off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian, especially one that's missing. But <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? 
I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. <laughs> Agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Fine. We'll make do. Hey, forget it. Let's get down to business. Maybe it's not right. Venus. Then we're going to Serena. <laughs> there we go. I'm so sorry. What's that? Bosco. You do that. Greetings, Captain. Hey. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We 
grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Ship power to avoid detection systems like weapons or shield are easier to detect. Maximum stealth power on all systems except for two bars in your engine. Or one or two bars in your engines and stay as far away from the mega ships as possible. Okay. Actually. slowly like that ship stealth is actually a thing this is nice it's a fantastic change of base and we just have to get within a few hundred meters huh and shit We're just sitting there. ships in our sight for as long as possible. Plus it's just kind of peaceful. Stressful, but peaceful. So good. 